five weeks from Election Day, and tomorrow we will see the candidates for vice president going head-to-head. -head. That's right. Tim Waltz and J.D. Vance will be in New York for the presidential vice presidential debate. And historically, the VP debate doesn't move the needle much in the minds of voters. With an AP poll showing Tim Waltz is viewed more positively by voters than J.D. Vance, some Republicans say Vance just needs to stick to the issues. And you can watch that debate tomorrow night at 6, and then right afterwards, our Fox 13 political analyst breaking it all down in a You Decide special. You can catch it on Fox 13 or the Fox Local app. And while their running mates prepare for tomorrow night, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump both held rallies last night. Trump was in Pennsylvania, a state that he will offer the presidential candidates the most votes in the Electoral College out of the, 11, or the seven swing states. Erie County, where the rally was held, is a mixed bag, though. Voters siding with Trump in 2016, but in 2020, it was siding with Biden. So Trump called his supporters to get more people out to the polls. We need each and every one of you to make a plan to vote early and vote absentee, do whatever you want. The main thing is you got to get out and you got to vote. I really believe that if you look at this date and look at what's happening to our country, I think November 5th will be the most important day potentially in the history of our country because our country is going bad. Well, Trump will be back in Pennsylvania on October 5th when he is set to hold a rally in Butler. And that's the same location of the first assassination attempt on him. Meantime, Vice President Harris rallying in Las Vegas, continuing with themes about new directions and visions for the country. And she says that that means getting past Trump. She also talked about the economy, grocery prices, and her plan to hit back against price gouging. And we must lower the cost of living because while our economy is doing well by many measures, prices for everyday things like groceries are still too high. You know it and I know it. So I have a plan that includes lowering costs on everything from health care to groceries. Harris also pledged new tax breaks for young families and new enforcement of deadly drug crime brought across the southern border. Harris's West Coast stop attempting to gain more Latino and young independent votes in the campaign's final weeks. Nevada, a critical swing state, has a large percentage of independent voters.